Hello Zero K fans and welcome to this exhibition match between Heated1333 and Yami on Rapids. I am ChatterFury33, your host, and let us begin. So Rapids is a somewhat unusual map. As you can see, it's very much water. Now, it's not entirely water. These ramps here are not so much ramps. These small paths, submerged ismuses, I suppose you could say, are... that kind of violates... that abuses the definition of the term ismus, but it'll have to do. Anyhow, these paths are passable by bots and vehicles, but they are very slow. If they try to go through them, they will move at about half speed or so. Amphibious bots are typically the thing to go for in this map. Now, as you can see, shield bots are Yami's choice. Interesting. While Heated 1333 has not yet chosen a factory, he's going very quickly for defenses and economy. I'm not entirely sure what his motivation for that is. I really would recommend just plopping down an amphibious factory, but apparently he does not feel it to be a particularly useful course of action. I heartily disagree, but this is a replay, so I can't exactly say anything to him that'll make anything meaningful happen. And if that did happen, that would be cheating, so we'll just have to watch what he does. I'm guessing he's probably going to be going down to the shore and building a factory there, probably hovercraft factory, instead of trying to build it up here, because if you build hovercrafts up here, these slopes do not work. Hovercrafts cannot go down those slopes very easily. There's a small path around back here that hovercrafts can take, but that's about it. So I'm guessing he's going for hovercrafts, maybe going to go for ships, but on this map there's too much terrain that a ship can't hit over back where your opponent is starting, so ships are a terrible idea. And he has built an amphibious bot factory near the shore. Well, he did go for the right bot choice, but I think he went for a little bit of a later factory than would be normally advised. And that is where we'll see Yami come in with, or Yami, or Yami would be the best pronunciation. Yami come in with his bandits. They are actually, oh, I was going to say, they're going to do quite a bit if they manage to get in a nice angle on these metal extractors to be able to take out at least one. This one still has a way of getting through, but they, he kind of needed both to get in there to actually deal any meaningful damage. Just the one won't be enough, especially since Heated's commander is coming in and will be able to stop it. And a radar tower will spot that bandit coming in. Convicts are coming in to build up probably, and I guess on the other side, probably building up maybe some forward defenses. Convicts can't go over to these islands here and build from there because they can't go underwater. They can't go through water. They're not amphibious. They can only go through this shallows here that requires them to go to half speed. And like I said, there that bandit goes with no particular reward for Yami. He really wasted that one. Now, these shield blocks are going to be fairly useful for defense, and that's about it. I'd honestly recommend that he quickly build a second factory of Amphibious or possibly Hovercraft. But Amphibious is really the way to go in this map. There isn't much reason to build anything else, honestly. And as you can see, three ducks are currently scouting the waters around here by Heated's base around the east side of the map. Heading over to Yami's base, and Yami getting up a fairly healthy energy economy. I mean, Yami... While he has a bad factory choice, definitely has the energy economy going for him. Heated's going entirely for defenses, which I find extremely surprising. He he has enough ducks to push forward. I mean, he really can deal quite a bit of damage. And he does have enough economy to continue production of what he has, though I would recommend getting more energy because he actually... Okay, I'm lying. He actually doesn't have enough economy because 12 energy when you have both your commander and a factory going. He doesn't have his factory going right now, but if he has both going at once, that isn't enough. However, just the commander, it is a little bit more than enough. Commanders only use 10 energy and 10 metal per second, so he's good that way. He should build more energy plants, probably wind generators up here in the mountains. He has more than enough defenses to make sure that nothing's going to stop him from doing that until Yami decides to factory switch, and then from there, all bets are really off. Yami, it looks like he is actually going for a direct attack with his commander. His commander... Flamethrower and auto repair system. He is definitely gone for and a battle commander chassis. He is going for a direct attack. Now, heated on the other hand, beam laser, energy cell, support commander. On a map like this, I... As you can see, heated's doing a pretty good job with his ducks. That's definitely where he's got the advantage, is the unit composition. However, on a map like this, I would have half a mind to use a commander with a torpedo. Just to start out. But... It's a rare thing. I don't even know how many players have t Torpedo Commanders available to use. Just because you don't get a lot of water maps like this. They don't come up very often. Yami is getting up to the Laser Towers. They're doing quite a bit of damage. And 
hit, main thing going for him is the auto repair system. The fact that he is healing up constantly is quite a lot of healing power going. But at the same time, Heated is tearing apart Yami's base. Yami's only saving grace is the fact that he does have this powerful commander, which is still upgrading. Though admittedly, he doesn't have the metal to do it. He only has 8 metal income and no metal in reserve. This is not going well for Yami. On the other hand, Heated... Well, he lost his last duck, but dealt a fair amount of damage to Yami's economy while building up his own, getting some more energy in the center of the map. Where Yami has not gone to explore yet. And Duck's having a field day taking out Yami's commander, or at least dealing some damage to it. Admittedly, not quite far enough away to avoid getting hit, so that, that duck did what it could, but not quite enough. Unfortunately for Yami, however, more ducks will be streaming in, but this is a bit of a tighter match than I'd expect. The Amphibious plan has been destroyed. Yami is actually doing quite a bit of damage with that commander. I am very surprised. Now, this is where I go back and say that he did really needed to have built that Amphibious Operations plant right at the start of the game. If he had done that, he would have had two or three more ducks by now. And then he would be set. In fact, he also should have built a couple wind generators or solar panels. Or, well, solar plants. But he didn't do that. And that is kind of sad because it means that he does have a harder time actually dealing with everything that Yami is throwing at him. Now that Yami has... Basically the only units in the game that aren't commanders, and he has the more powerful commander as well. That's saying something. Now, Amphibious Operations Plant being rebuilt underwater, very clever option, actually. So that's going to be, when that comes up, a very powerful move for Heated, because at this point Yami can't actually deal with that. There's no way Yami can deal with that Amphibious Operations Plant. Once it gets built up, it will be essentially unassailable. At least unless Yami goes in factory switches, which he doesn't look like he's planning on doing. He is seems committed to shields. He's also committed to reclaiming, and there we go. Getting his commander up to level 3 heat ray and a bunch of auto repair systems, so these defenses are done. He did has basically lost his main base, but he's taking the islands around here. He does have the clams. He does have the Hippus Operations Plant that's continuing its construction underwater. And now it is done, and what is it going to build? It is going to build some boys. Interesting choice. Not a bad choice, mind you. Ducks are powerful, but that shot of theirs, due to the high reload time, it is a little bit tricky to use. Boys, however, are about the same cost. They're actually a bit more expensive. Yeah, about one and a half times as expensive, so I'd say a mix of boys and ducks. Boys to slow them down in order to make up for the fact that the ducks have a really slow fire rate. However, the best thing that is going to be done for Heated is the fact that he can build up an army without Yami getting in the way, because he needs to get an army of units here. He can't just be firing off one or two at a time. You generally can't do that in an RTS game. But if he gets about, I'd say, three or four boys and two or three ducks, he should be able to... Actually, I don't know. 4,900 health and five auto repair systems. That's just going to be really difficult to deal with, honestly. We might be able to deal with it with, like, about half a dozen buoys and half a dozen ducks, but it would be a tough fight. He's going to lose some units if he does that. Better option would be to take those boys and ducks and just send them back into Yami's base. And Yami is getting a gunship plant, just starting to, but with no metal in the bank. All of his metal going to Amorphous Commander, almost all of it going to Amorphous Commander. Very little of it going back to this gunship plant, which is going to take several minutes to build up. This is definitely going in Yami's er, definitely going in Heated's favor. Yami's only... Really, he's only ace in the hole as this commander, and even that is taking a long time to build up. And it looks like Heated is trying to retake his base... Sending three boys in, probably not enough, but he's going to try at least. Really, though, that's not enough. He, he needs to get more. He needs to get more boys. He needs to get more ducks. He probably should... Okay, he shouldn't really consider anything else. Maybe a scallop? Nah, a scallop might be too much. But yeah, boys and ducks. Not a bad idea. But he needs more of them. That's the biggest thing he needs more of, is stuff. Anything, really. Now, these buoys are doing a pretty decent job getting rid of the metal extractors. That is extremely useful because these metal extractors are the only thing that Yami has going for him. If he does... And now the battle has been joined with the commander. And as we can see, the auto repair systems really are doing a lot of damage. The only thing that's going... Actually... Okay, buoys are decently tough. But even then, the only thing that's going for Heated at this point is the range of buoys. The fact that they can kite the commander fairly effectively... But ducks would be necessary to deal enough damage to get past auto repair in an efficient manner. Now, Heated is doing a really good I has a really good idea. He's doing a really good job making sure that these buoys aren't getting hit too much. They're kiting the commander. They aren't focusing on the commander. They're just dealing enough damage to just to keep it busy. But they are going around to the metal extractors, and now they have taken all the metal extractors that were in Yami's 
old, or that were in Hida's base that Yami was building. And Yami's base, on the other hand, has not been attacked much since that first assault with the ducks. But he did going for map control, taking the right choice here. What he needs to do is probably just finish off, and he's getting some scallops as well, but he probably needs to go finish off the base. The commander can wait. The commander will take some damage. It's not going to be the biggest deal. As long as the commander isn't getting over here, that's fine. And it's really just for the commander. Heated's commander is the only one threatened as a result. But Heated should probably just go into Yami's base and deal with that. He has enough firepower to deal with all this, or he can very quickly get enough firepower. Half his firepower is dealing with his commander and kind of wasting his time. This is why I said you kind of need ducks. The ducks synergize well with the boys because the ducks low reload time is made up for the fact that the boys are slowing down the commander and thus reducing his fire rate. But given that these boys are basically doing not quite nothing but essentially nothing. There's now they're doing nothing. This commander is healing too quickly. It's too quickly for the boys to actually damage. Ducks would be what's necessary in order to actually deal meaningful damage and ducks are being built. About half a dozen ducks are being built being sent up for an army, and I think this army will be used to attack the main base. It might be sent back here to attack the commander, but I doubt it. That's odd. Anyway, that's a thing that may happen. We will have to see fairly soon. But what's going to be interesting is what will happen once... Oh, come on. Okay, apparently the map shading is getting weird. Not sure what's going on there. But anyway, all these units have actually come back far enough to start dealing with the army's commander, and they're dealing enough damage. To, there we go, now the ducks are getting in position, the scallops are getting in position as well. Scallops having underwater torpedoes. I wasn't expecting Yami to go into the water against amphibious bots, but he did do that, and that was a mistake. Yami loses his commander, and he did, will take this game no problem. I am very surprised that he tried to go into the water like that. That was really foolish. Okay, what is going on? Sorry, just bear with me for one second. Because I'm not sure why... No, that's not happening. I'm not sure what happened to the shading in the map. The... No, it doesn't appear to be working anymore. For some reason, the lighting just went all wonky and dark. Not sure what happened there. Anyway, I'll have to look into that. But for now, Yami does have a couple Banshees coming in, but he is getting threatened by the Ducks, Boys, and Scallops coming up off the shore. And these Banshees really aren't enough. Ducks coming in will be taking out one of the Convicts. Very quickly, Thug trying to do what he can to deal with them, and it's actually doing a pretty good job covering for that convict, stopping him from getting killed, and killing one of the ducks in the process, but the convict ultimately goes down. Scallops getting rid of the Banshee, too low to the ground to avoid the shotgun blast, and there go the Thugs as well, and this is game. Yami just hasn't thrown in the towel yet, but he will soon, trust me. Now, the Banshees are trying to do what they can to take out this clam over in the northeast corner of the map, but Heated has nothing to worry about. He just needs to go for an attack and win. And it looks like that is exactly what he will be doing. Just going around a bit of a roundabout way. He's not entirely sure what Yami has in his base. He doesn't have any radar here or anything like that. But he can very quickly find out what Yami has. And he will very quickly find out that Yami has nothing. He has... And there we go. Yami has thrown in the towel. That is game. So I hope you enjoyed that. And I will be back shortly with another match. So stay tuned.